Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah and I have two children, both under the age of two. Sophia is 20 months old and Amelia is now 10 weeks old. As you can imagine, life is a bit chaotic and busy right now. And I have come up with an evening routine that massively helps me out and I want to share that with you today. When my husband Joe is at work, I need to make sure everything is as organized as possible for the next morning. When I have not done this routine, things have gone wrong, I've ended up in tears, Sophia, my eldest, has ended up in tears, like it's all been mad. So by doing this routine it just helps things run smoothly for the next day and it doesn't take very long at all as you'll see and it just is a really good one for anyone who has two young children or more than that or even just one child and you just want to be prepared for the next day this routine hopefully will help you out it's definitely helped me out before we get started if you're new to my channel i'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button and let's just get straight into the evening routine We usually start between 6 to 6.15 p.m. and I'll go upstairs and start to run the bath for the girls. Whilst the bath is running, I'll go into Sophia's room and get that ready, draw the curtains, turn the lamps on, turn the main light off. put them into my bedroom because after the bath we all go in my bedroom, in mine and Joe's bedroom and get ready in there, it's just what we do. I also put Amelia's pyjamas or onesie in the, in the bathroom because I put her in that straight away. What I tend to do is put Sophia in the bath first, Joe will bring Amelia up, I'll strip Amelia off, put her in the bath and then I'll take Amelia out first and lay her on the changing mat whilst I sort Sophia out and she's usually happy to have a little kick about and a little kind of stretch usually without her nappy on and then I'll put her pyjamas on in the bathroom. Then we have bath time, so tonight we had a fun bath with glow sticks in which was really fun. Um, so that's just a little clip of that. Obviously I didn't film anything else because <laughs> I'm not going to film my children in the bath for the internet to see. Once the bath has done, I bring them into my bedroom like I said and we get Sophia dressed. So I put her nappy on, put her cream on, get her dressed and we just do the typical milk, story, cuddles, that kind of thing. We just lay on the bed and it's just always a lovely time of the evening just to have some cuddles and wind down. Then usually around 7 I put Sophia to bed and she's usually out for the night then so that's one child down and good to go. Now Amelia's milk depends on the rest of the day, sometimes she has it before bath, sometimes she'll have it after the bath once Sophia's in bed. That's really not in a solid routine yet, we just go with the flow as to when she needs it but we like to try and feed her between 6 and 7 at some point so that she's kind of good for a few hours and it'll get her off to sleep quite nicely. Once Sophia is in bed, I will get my clothes out ready for the next day. crib and I will have my shower then. It just means that I can keep an eye on her. Sometimes she wants her dummy put back in, sometimes she needs rocking. If I have a shower and get ready then I'm nearby and I can do that quite easily. And I do tend to stay upstairs for about 15 minutes just to check. So within that 15 minutes I'll get Amelia's clothes out and just have a general tidy up upstairs, sort the bathroom out, tidy any toys away. It wasn't too bad this night but sometimes there's stuff everywhere so it takes a bit longer. But I just like to make sure the upstairs is tidy, ready before I go downstairs. It's all of our outfits ready and everything tidied up. Once the upstairs is tidy and all the clothes are out, 
I will take some washing downstairs and go and put a load on ready for the next day. I usually set it for a timer so that it comes on sort of early hours in the morning so it's done and then in the morning I can just put it straight in the dryer. If there's a load still to put away from the day I will often at this time of the night put that away if it's Amelia's or if it's Sophia's I'll at least kind of organise it into piles in the spare room ready to put away the next day. Now usually, whoever does the upstairs, um, the other person tidies the downstairs. So in this case, Joe tidied the kitchen up and he did the sterilizer, he sterilized the bottles, tidied the kitchen, prepared the formula. So we don't usually, I don't usually like all of it. Usually Joe will do one and I'll do the other. It just happened to be my turn to do the bedtime tonight and Joe's turn to tidy up and we usually alternate each night. Now this might seem really, really like specific and pedantic, but I do like to get my coffee and cup ready for the next day. So I always put a new coffee pot in, get the water filled up and put a cup in the coffee machine because if I have a bad night with Amelia and I'm super tired, it's just easy. Like the less I have to think about in the morning, the easier it is. make sure that I prepare the baby bag for the next day just because again it's easier to do it that way if I know I'm going out then I will make sure I've got like a clean muslin enough nappies that I've got the outfits in if, if you haven't already I have actually done a what's in my changing bag for a toddler and a baby so go ahead and watch that for a detailed look at what's in there Once I've got like the coffee and the breakfast bowls ready for the next day and even my medication I put out, I will just have a general tidy for the downstairs as well, usually starting in the playroom because it is usually the messiest. Now Joe has been using this room in the evening for his gaming so I was limited with my space but I had enough space to kind of tidy the toy storage area, reset the theme. This week our theme was under the sea so I just kind of reset all of that, put the puzzle pieces back together. the sofa forward and it makes it a bit difficult to tidy up but he does all put it back ready for the next day so that the next morning the playroom is tidy and then I go and set the lounge up ready to relax so I put the fairy lights on put the lamp on and make myself a cup of tea and just sit down and relax ready for the evening So that is our evening routine. It saves my life most days. I don't do this at the weekend as much. I do a little bit of it. Like we always do the sterilizer and all of that and I, I sometimes get the clothes out but I am more relaxed at the weekend because I know I've got Joe here to help me in the morning and we tend to have slower mornings. But when I'm on my own, this is what keeps me sane and means that I can have a nice smooth morning. I will film our morning routine but Joe is off work for the next two weeks so we, it won't be quite what we usually do. But once he's back at work, I will film our morning routine so you can see the after effects of all of this preparation for the night before and hopefully you'll see how easy it is. And then if Sophia's having tantrums or Amelia's crying or I've had a bad night, it just means that it's a little bit calmer than it would be. It doesn't solve all the problems because when two babies are crying, it's a nightmare. It's so stressful. On Sundays, I will also throw into the mix resetting the playroom and resetting a the theme so that kind of is something that I'll do on a Sunday specifically just because I like to have a different theme each week get different toys out do a bit of toy rotation that kind of thing 
So I hope you found this helpful or at least just, you know, interesting to have a little nosy into what I do in the evening. I don't do it every night, I will be honest. Some nights I am so tired, but like I said earlier, if I don't do it, the next day is a bit more stressful, but some nights I'm just exhausted and I just do like the bare minimum. So I'll just do the sterilizer in the bottles, do the play. I don't always do it to that extreme detail, put it that way. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already then, please hit the subscribe button. I would love it if you could kind of follow along our journey and be part of my little internet family and leave a comment below of what is an essential in your household to keep things running smoothly. Is there a specific task or routine that you follow to make sure everything is smooth and peaceful? Let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.